Um, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 dropped. Really? Are we not? Well, no, that game was I am. on arrival. Mm. I am, dude. Anyway, we have it. Venia going up against Du- I believe- Is this winner? No, this is the other side Sem of winner's semis? This is semis, yeah. This is semis, okay. We're in best of three territory because we're always in best of three territory because we're at Xeno. It's pretty lit. So yep. this is best of three. Gotta stay on your, on everything's your toes. Best, everything's best of three, Xeno. Wait. Um, I'm serious. Um, 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 I'm being anyways, serial. Okay, so. Oh, God. Already splitting the defense, like, breaking through all of Dill's, like, Dill spaces, like, his stuff better than any Rob I've ever seen in my life. The back air does not take the stock. And okay. it makes sense that you, when you play a character like, you know, Venia does in Greninja that, you know, you're able to split the defense in that way because you're so quick and so small and low profile as well because Greninja's model is actually big, but he slouches so low to the ground mm. that, like, it's, a, it's like he can actually run under a lot of stuff and just get away scot-free. So, I'm just really anxious to see how Venia is going to be able to play around this. But hey, this is the classic. We're at Xeno. These guys play all the time. I'm sleep. They're both really good. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I really love the way that, um, like, Dill in specific, like, approaches a lot of matchups. Like, I, I love just how um, he chooses to, like, not pick the same amount of options. Like, whenever I play, like, Chia or I've played Zomba, I think it was last week, they always tend to, um, not really use defensive options, but like whenever Dill plays, I feel like he has a really good like um not I would I would say neutral but like awareness. Yes. Of just like what's going on and like what he needs to do. Yeah. No disrespect man, Dill is the best Rob I have ever played in my life. Like this guy, like yeah. I play Mario. Mario beats Rob. Dill makes me look like I have never played this damn game before in my life, like every time we play. It's me with everything, man. It's all about being able to split the defense against Rob, man. Don't be afraid of the gyro. Don't let it overwhelm you. Hold yourself by the up air does take the stock. Nice. He's a ledge trapper, too. You know, as on top of being a zoner and a boxer, you know, whatever the character does it all. But so it's such a lower level player thing. So when he like Rob is trying to do like a ledge trap setup and you're by the ledge, like, I gotta press the button. I gotta press the button right now to be able to get up. There are moments, my friends, when every option against these kind of characters, whether it's Rob, GDD, whatever character ledge traps like that where all options are covered and you just have to wait a little bit longer until one opens up it's i cannot begin to talk about how crucial that is you are not going to get to high top level unless you start to really respect zoners and ledge trappers in that regard it's just something you got to do i'm going to be honest oh that's not dead but i've um i i know i played dill as you have too. Yeah. I, something I noticed that he's been doing a lot more. He just did it um, after he took uh, Venya's first stock. Is that he um, went for the gyro. He threw the gyro up before he left, um, went off stage. And I feel like that that actually kind of forces people to um, kind of be worried, like because they don't want to get hit by the gyro if they're gonna stand like right next to ledge. Yeah. Like he's obviously gonna stall his recovery. So I just I kind of like the um, you know the hint little small things that he chose to do there. And that was. That, ooh. Yeah, Dill's option coverage, like you're talking about, is just kind of nuts. When he throws that up, it's like, you got. Oh, oh, God, you popped out of it, you legend. And he's, he didn't die. I'm going to pretend that Venio did that on purpose. I, I guess. No, he didn't. But, like, I'm going to pretend he did. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but why not? Now we're by the ledge again. Neutral arrows, of course, not going to kill. Getting a little bit stale at this point. Off goes the gyro. Not giving him the up air, of course. No way is that man going to press an air dodge or an attack button out of disadvantage like that. You got one of the highest jumps in this entire game, and you're in disadvantage. You're that hitting that. so nice. You're hitting that. You have one of the highest jumps, and you're a fastballer. You're jumping, and then you're fastballing down. What are you going to do? You're going to air dodge your way down every time? Hell no. Not against a character with an up air like Rob. I'm not, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Okay. Up. Yeah, no! <laughs> yeah, see? What are you doing? He's trying to mix it up. He's air dodging. <laughs> Dill's hitting him every time. Nice laser there. Uh, yeah, you're mashing out of that free. That was a very nice mash. It was really good, actually. Like, he, he literally got out of that frame one. That yeah. was how? Oh. Ooh, snatched up for doing the up smash. Oh. Then catching it on the way back up. All right. You're not. You're, you're a dead player. See, okay, so I was wow. I, I was talking to Dill before he had to play um, Venya, and we were actually kind of talking about ways that he can kind of like force um, jumps when people are trying to recover, mm -hmm. especially since that um, Greninja, he has a very like, as you said, very good um, fall speed and um, jump height, and it's just like he kind of not gets away with um, like recovering for free, but like it's it is kind of hard to just you know edge guard him or not edge. 
let's trap him and kind of just make sure that like he doesn't come back. That's the wave. So I, I couldn't have said that any better myself if I tried, Jazzy. I, I just I just I want to <laughs> be <a> truthful. <laughs> I want to see how he kind of approaches that a lot more when he does have um, Greninja off stage, mm -hmm. because it's just like I want to I want to see his creativity. It yeah, I want to see it too. It's scary like when you're off the level against like Hydro Pump, even if like you you rob and you have your jump, because you never know what that thing is going to send you if he angles it properly. My man Venia, he he'll do wild Hydro Pump angles when you're in like weird situations mm -hmm. that'll send you at all sorts of angles, like to try and throw you off. You're off the level against this guy. Doesn't matter how good your recovery is. He will Hydro Pump on stage to try to set you up in a better position for him to just hit you. You know, it's like part of Greninja's design as a character. You do the Hydro Pump, launch him up a little bit more, jump up with that insanely powerful and relatively quick forward air. It's what you do. I couldn't resist Jazzy, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. I really like how, um,. What's it called? Dill's kind of making um, people. Oh, shit. Dang it! He's kind of making people um, like land with moves when he's right next to Gyro, and it kind of just like hits them. Like he can shield it, and then they still get hit by it. So that's a free punish right there. Oh yeah! It's such an. Ex it's, he's just so smart to be able to play around it like that. As the up air does not take the stock. That one? No. Oh! Thought it was still. Never mind. The second one's gonna do it. If you first you don't succeed, try try oh, wow. again. The second one was the DI angle was wrong. Bro, who asked you? Hey, I'm giving you the correct <laughs> info. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, actually. And, You're okay. actually a wonderful stream runner, okay. a wonderful friend, and a wonderful TO. I'm sorry to get off topic, but do you know what Greninja's neutral will be called? Water Sherry. No. Eh. What? Really? What? Mm -hmm. Did you not watch Detective Pikachu? No. I'm sorry. There's no I... way you would know that his neutral B is actually Greninja Stars. Yeah. Bro, shut up. Open the game files right now. No, 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 no. They have the names on cartridge. You can open it up in training mode, and it says the deliberate Nintendo licensed name of every move in this game. It is called Hydro Pump. I mean, freaking Water Shoot. You can shut up. All so, right. it's not called Hydro Pump. All right, well, you, you can be wrong once. It's Greninja Star. So, I would, I, would, I would really appreciate it if we can refer to um, Greninja's neutral beat, and that was a very nice, that was very nice. I'm gonna call it Water Sharpie. Water who? Water Sharpie. Like it's the marker? Sharp and it's water. It's better than Greninja Star, all right? Greninja Star is so much better, what are you talking about? Well, it sucks, because that's not what it's called. Kalos. Oh, up we up go. Up air. Woo! Ah! That was so nice! That's oh what my you God. get when you have the highest jump, and you can angle what direction you go with your damn counter. Greninja is top tier. I don't want to hear it. That's Greninja the laser. Hey, wait, hold on. You said you didn't want to hear it. Oh my god. I'm hearing it. That was I'm gonna hear it, man. I thought Devin was gonna type it in the script. I was gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh, go for another one? You madman? You can afford it, you're Greninja. You see? This is what I'm talking about. Amazing recovery, able to make it back, but he's just hydro pumping on stage to try to launch him up so he can fair him again. It's bread and butter Greninja, it's bread and butter Venia, I should say. Actually, it might be a little more advanced Greninja, but it's definitely bread and butter Venia. You know, this guy's, you know, one of, if not the best Greninjas in the world, so. He is not number one. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. And How why did he die? Did he did I feel like die? He, I, I, that looked like SDI up. Up air? Was he licking his control stick? Like. Yeah, that definitely yeah. kind of looked like SDI up. He was trying to pop out of that. He should have just DI'd left or right. But Unless he did. That, I, no that didn't, I mean, I'm not sure how good he SDI's. Probably pretty good. Like, it's it's like a it, when I played him, it wasn't like the best SDI, but he's kind of big, so like, does it really matter when you SDI like that? Because Rob is so big that sometimes you just get hit. You know, I think that just depends on one's own conundrums of philosophy, Jazzy. And what I mean by that is, do you think there's no point in SDI'ing because your character's no, I'm not, so big I'm and you'll just get hit? Or are you really good at SDI I'm, because your character is big and you want a chance to okay, be able to make no, it Okay, no, see, because I'm asking if that, that is his thought process. I'm asking if that's his thought process, too. I don't, I don't know anything. But when you're acting like I'm the one who said it, that it's not worth SDI. I was just, I having, I was just having a conversation about the intricacies and philosophies of fighting game neutral. I feel attacked right now. 
Because you attacked me first. What are you I talking about? I didn't attack about? you. What are you talking about? Yeah, because you oh were like, oh, why, why are you, you're like, oh, why are you asking me this? And I was the one who was asking you. We were asking each other. That's what good commentary is, Jazzy. We ask each other questions to advance our knowledge of the game through these players that we are gracious enough to be able to commentate. On Everything three. I do, Wait. I do for the people. All right? I'm a god, yo. That's why I went two and two. Same. Lit. Um, I beat Jewel and then immediately lost to freaking <laughs> lost to Dylan Valero. <laughs> it was so funny. Was but so I just broke a golden rule of commentary. Never talk about your own bracket. But uh, whatever. But Shut wait, up. Am I split? This game three though. That it is, and we're on battlefield, which is a pretty good stage for Greninja. I mean, you know, I feel like decent it's even character. Stage for Rob. Yeah, it's pretty good for both. I mean, but the thing is, like, you know. When you play like a super aggressive brawler character, like uh, or like zoning, yeah, not zoning. I'm trying to say like zoning. What am I trying to say here? Like a character that splits the defense of zoning as well as Greninja. You can keep people in disadvantage on a stage like Battlefield for a while. It's a common like low level misconception of players that are like, oh, like it's okay. Battlefield. There are more platforms. I can you know I can use these to land easier. No, it makes your recovery. I mean, it makes your recovery out of disadvantage a little more linear. It makes juggling easier depending on the matchup. And when you play a big character like Rob right. against Greninja, it could be easier for you to get juggled. But it's not going to matter when you get grabbed at 170%. Rob up throw will seal the deal, and that is Dill taking the first I, stock over Venia. I really feel like um, the reason why I feel like it's just a good, really good stage is not only because like Rob can definitely live until obscenely high percents. Yes. But I feel like when you're on Battlefield, you play neutral a lot more mm. because you can't like fish for kills every time when people are at 150%. Speaking of kills, Dill just died, but it kind yes. of forces you to play neutral a lot more, which is why I kind of like Battlefield a lot more. You'll, you're, you'll, not everybody has bad kill options, but when you do have Rob, who, not, it's very inconsistent kill options. Yes. I, I would say it's definitely very inconsistent, but it just allows you to play neutral a lot more, just so that like, whenever you are on FD, it kind of like the neutral shows. Definitely an astute observation. The neutral would show because Battlefield is a very big stage as well, so characters are going to be living a little longer, a little more neutral. It would depend on the matchup for a little more neutral because sometimes you'll fight, like, you know, a Mac, and then you'll be on the platforms forever because you're not you're not fighting him. But you got a good point. People live longer here, a little more neutral to be played, and here we are, two stocks apiece for both of these players here on the final game of Winter Semis here at Xeno 202. Uh, Dill just a little bit further up right now, but Venia easily making his way back. Only a 2% differential, and now he is just in that slight lead as well, baiting Dill to go in for that grab. And then stage control is suddenly in favor of the robot and turns right back in favor of the well, frog. Uh, and then back in the favor of the frog again. My man went dang. down. Yo, he just said my people need me. Like, I, I, I gotta go back. That was very nice. He got the roll in. Oh, Die. back, to, back no. to the pond. Back to the pond. Going to see Kermit. Going to see yeah. Kermit. Yeah, we're going to see Kermit. Really we nice. got a last stock situation, boys and girls. I don't know how Rob's recover. I'm sorry. Uh, he hits up on the stick when he's in the uppie a lot, and then when you think he's gonna do that again, he hits the jump button, and then he, you get hit. Well, I mean, in terms of, like, how long does it last for? Because they just, like, they stay there forever, and I'm so confused. I, I, I wouldn't... Okay, anyways. Rob's gas match, lasts sorry. for a while. He's a very in gassy lad. He definitely ate a lot of Chipotle, like, before every match wait, he goes into. Wait, hold on, stop. I had Chipotle uh, earlier. The oh, Chipotle oh, was good, I'm oh, sorry. You're screwed. I what love Chipotle, about? though. Chipotle was so good. That's gonna come back to get you. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you, I think you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know. Yeah, you definitely what? do. I love Chipotle, though. Anyway, back to the ledge. Epic. I love watching Dill do that. It doesn't look like the kind of move that would hit you when you're by the ledge like that, but that move, it's all throughout his arms, which are intangible, I believe, when he is doing Wait, that up air. His I did not see. I was wondering why the up tilt didn't connect, even though it obviously came out. And is that death? That is gonna be death. I'm happy. I think this is the first time in a while. Um, Devin, can you give us a set count on these two amazing players? Uh, something, something. Venia's favor. Something, something. I was hoping you do that. In a while. And I'm happy. I was hoping you'd do that. And there is Dill advancing to winners finals. One of the best Robs in the game right now. If you don't know this, Rob.